Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered, am I really in control of my life? Do my choices truly matter? This question has haunted humanity for centuries, echoing through the halls of ancient philosophy and modern science alike. It's a question that delves into the very essence of who we are and the choices we make, shaping our understanding of existence. Some of the greatest minds in history have pondered this very puzzle. Minds like Max Planck, Albert Einstein, Fritz Zernike, Anton Zeilinger and Sabine Hossenfelder, each contributing unique insights. These physicists, renowned for their groundbreaking contributions, also grappled with the age-old debate of free will versus determinism, questioning the nature of reality itself. In the vast universe we inhabit, governed by laws of physics that shape the cosmos, where does free will fit in? Is it a mere byproduct of complex systems? Is it an illusion? A comforting story we tell ourselves to make sense of our actions? Or is it fundamental to our existence, an intrinsic part of what it means to be human? These brilliant physicists each with their unique perspectives, offer us glimpses into this profound mystery, challenging our perceptions. Their insights challenge our assumptions and invite us on a captivating journey to explore the boundaries of knowledge, pushing us to think deeper. Join me as we delve into the captivating world of physics and the human mind, exploring the implications of their views and the enduring quest to unravel the enigma of free will a quest that continues to this day. This is not just an academic exercise, but a profound exploration of our very nature. It's about understanding the very choices we make every day and what it means to be human in a universe seemingly governed by immutable laws, yet filled with endless possibilities. Max Planck, the father of quantum mechanics, revolutionized physics, with his groundbreaking work on energy quanta. He was a man who believed deeply in the order of the universe. Planck saw the world as inherently causal, governed by laws that dictate the flow of events. His perspective aligned with determinism, the idea that every action is a consequence of prior events, leaving no room for genuine choice. Planck's belief in a causal universe extended to human actions. He saw our lives as intricately woven into the fabric of cause and effect. Every decision, every thought, stemmed from a chain of prior events, a chain that extended back to the very beginning of the universe. Despite his belief in determinism, Planck also acknowledged the profound mystery of human consciousness. He recognized that our subjective experience of the world, our sense of agency, couldn't be easily explained by physics alone. While he believed our actions were predetermined, he also saw the beauty and complexity of human experience as something to be cherished. Planck's close friendship with Albert Einstein, another giant of physics, often involved lively debates on this very topic. Their contrasting views on determinism and free will fueled their intellectual exchanges, highlighting the depth and complexity of this enduring philosophical question. Albert Einstein, the iconic physicist who unveiled the mysteries of relativity, shared Planck's belief in a deterministic universe. He was a man of profound intellect and curiosity always seeking to understand the underlying principles that govern our reality. His famous quote, God does not play dice, encapsulates his stance against the randomness he perceived in quantum mechanics. This quote has echoed through the halls of science, symbolizing his unwavering belief in a universe ruled by order and predictability. Einstein staunchly opposed the idea of a universe governed by chance, where events unfold unpredictably at the subatomic level. He debated fiercely with other physicists, 
defending his view that there must be hidden variables yet to be discovered. He believed that a complete understanding of physics would reveal a hidden order, a set of laws that could predict the future with absolute certainty. This belief drove much of his work and inspired countless experiments and theories. Einstein's vision of the universe was one of elegance and predictability, where every effect had a definite cause. He saw the cosmos as a grand, intricate clockwork, each part moving in harmony with the others. Einstein's conviction stemmed from his deep faith in the rationality of the universe. He was convinced that the universe was not a chaotic place, but one that could be understood through reason and scientific inquiry. He believed that the world was inherently comprehensible and that with enough knowledge, we could unravel its secrets. This belief was a cornerstone of his scientific philosophy and guided his relentless pursuit of understanding. The idea of a universe governed by chance seemed to him not only implausible, but also at odds with the beauty and elegance he saw in the laws of physics. To Einstein, the universe was a masterpiece of logical structure and aesthetic beauty. Einstein's deterministic view extended to human behavior. He saw human actions as part of the same natural order that governed the stars and planets. He believed that our actions, like the movements of planets, were predetermined by the laws of physics. This perspective suggested that free will was an illusion, a concept that sparked much debate and contemplation. While he acknowledged the complexities of human consciousness, he ultimately saw our choices as inevitable consequences of our past experiences and the physical laws governing our brains. This deterministic view was a fundamental aspect of his broader understanding of the universe. Section 4 Fritz Zernick Challenging Determinism's Grip Fritz Zernick, a Dutch physicist celebrated for his groundbreaking invention of the phase contrast microscope, held a different view from many of his contemporaries. He questioned the rigid grip of causal determinism suggesting that philosophical interpretations often overshadowed the true implications of scientific discoveries. Zernike was not content with the idea that everything in the universe was preordained by physical laws. Zernike believed that while the universe operates according to physical laws, this didn't necessarily negate the possibility of free will. He saw the universe as a place of both order and potential spontaneity. He argued that the laws of physics, while descriptive of how things behave, don't dictate what must happen. This distinction was crucial in his view of the natural world. Zernike saw a clear distinction between the predictability of physical systems and the complexities of human choice. He believed that human decisions could not be fully explained by physical laws alone. He believed that reducing human actions to mere consequences of physical laws ignored the richness and unpredictability of human experience. Human behavior, in his view, was far too complex to be boiled down to simple cause and effect. Zanike's perspective aligns with a nuanced view of the free will debate. He acknowledged the influence of physical factors, but maintained that they did not wholly determine human actions. He recognized the limits of applying purely physical explanations to the realm of human consciousness and choice. Zernike saw human consciousness as a frontier that science had yet to fully understand. He believed that while our actions might be influenced by physical factors, they were not solely determined by them. This belief underscored his broader view of science and humanity. His invention of the phase contrast microscope, a tool that revolutionized biological research by allowing scientists to study living cells